And we're live. Oh, shit. Some good Red Bull. Premium Products Podcast. Yes. Follow us on all the social media platforms. All socials. Instagram at Premium Products Podcast. Yes. I'm working on... We do cover custom cover art on there. <laughs> Uh, every episode, yeah, I work. I wouldn't say hard on it, but I enjoy it, and it makes me laugh. A lot. <laughs> the last, the last, the last one. one <laughs> I don't even know what I'm gonna do for the next one because the last one was so fucking good. I don't know how to top it. How was that? You can only have a Roshi blowing up out of the World Trade Center one time, <laughs> and then it's very hard to surpass that. Oh my god, that was so funny. I was at work dying laughing. <laughs> I was like, these are all wrong, but I love it. <laughs> I'm oh. gonna post the alts. Uh, <laughs> the alts are good. Um, we gotta put that one on a shirt. <laughs> let's see. I, uh, <laughs> we have the Taliban wearing uh, Roshis. AI created. They're not Roshis, but they. Yeah, I don't know. It's close. Canal Street Roshis. Uh, we have like a weird. Uh, like Roshi's like kicking into yeah. the World Trade Center. <laughs> the last um, one I was... thought about just posting this one. <laughs> this is the Kool Aid Man, oh, and yeah. just says, "Oh yeah," <laughs> as the tower collapses. Oh my god, that's so um, funny! And then yeah, we had the one we went with. Yeah, I think it's a uh, very very nice. It fit perfectly. I liked. I liked it. I, honestly, the Rosh the terrorists. With the Roshi sitting down with the guns, that looks kind of hard. Not I might bad. do that for the next one. Yeah, that, that's pretty hard. Other, they just chilling, vibing. Like that's dope. I ten out of ten recommend. Um, shit. Uh, at the PPP or at the underscore PPP underscore on Twitter. I always forget the last underscore. Reddit r slash ppp go fuck that page up please no one has posted and i want more people to post um the youtube premium products podcast i will work i'll say maybe thursday i'll have this episode up on video or not video but like a visualizer with images based along what we talk about I guess. I don't know. I tried doing it for the first couple. It was very hard, but I'll sit and work on it, and we'll get it out Thursday. Nice. Yeah, I better go like it up. But I uh, love rate, review, everything. <clears throat> like the video. Yes, please leave a review and stars. I think on uh, Apple Podcasts, it puts us up in the ranks. We're a funny podcast. But we're not in the sneak or in the comedy category because we're competing against women doing makeup in the fashion category, <laughs> where we think we can dominate. So please go give us a review. We're number two hundred on there. I'm trying to be number one. Oh, you moved up. Um, two thirteen or whatever. We're where we were. We went up like three spots. Hey, hey, a win's a win. A win's a win. Wins, we up. Hey, fuck those three that we beat. Yeah, I don't fuck them. This is how I feel like about them. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, is that on ours? Yeah, I just. Oh, that's great. It. That's great. <laughs> cool. It was just posted. I wonder who posted it. <laughs> Looks like Ahmed is on the PPP Reddit. <laughs> oh man. Well, do you have any other? housekeeping things oh josh isn't here oh yeah josh is not here it's father's day yeah, it's so father's happy day. father's day to all the dad all the dads out there you know father duties understand respect oh we do a uh, bonus episode on uh patreon oh yeah patreon every week dollar uh yeah one dollar first 500 people sign up can get in for one dollar all access one dollar <laughs> Nope, wrong one. <laughs> That's good though. One dollar. Which one is it? Okay. One dollar. 
We got hey, it's easy. And then if you want, are you a come to the Patreon? Yeah, please. If you're even if you're not one, are you a are you a dumb? <laughs> But in Patreon, we don't have to uh, bleep none of that. Yeah, do you want to know what I'm saying when I'm saying, come to the Patreon? Yeah, yes. Find out. You're going to find out this week, find out why I almost got into, why I almost witnessed two fights. Damn. Yeah, I'll talk about it on Patreon. It's pretty funny. Honestly. A bunch f- of fighting? <laughs> Actually, yes, yeah, a bunch a of bunch those. Of- a bunch. Wow. Well, a lot. And I had to settle, calm them down. I'm like, hey. I was like, hey, hey, you <laughs> better shut up. <laughs> better calm down. Calm your <laughs> ass down. <laughs> you dumb fucking. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, get on the Patreon. If not, you know, you can also do the $5 if you're a real one. That's the preferred. Yeah, if you're a real one, like if you really support the boys. You got money. Yeah, that five bucks, man. Five dollars a month, bro. Five dollars, even if a dollar. Pacarillos. That, yeah, it's less. Er, I think it's one oh eight, so it's one cent more than Rillos. But hey, Dutches are fucking one fifty nine now. So what? It's fucking insane. Not in not in back home. They still a dollar. See, I'm gonna start bringing. How much were these? Uh, five fifty eight. Yeah. It says ninety nine yeah, cents on the thing. It says ninety nine cents on. Well, it's like those Arizona I'm aware. I'm aware. Oh my god. Oh, that's a BS. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Because I was go. I stopped going to Quick Trip for the longest. Yeah. Uh, Is that from? Cause, yeah. Because they were doing that shit, but Seven Eleven wasn't. But now Seven Eleven does. Damn, boycott Seven Eleven. Dollar fifty eight. Fuck that! I'm. That's. I'm glad I'm rolling papers right now. <gasps> Before you know, it's gonna be two for two dollars. When that day happens, I'm just gonna st- stick to strictly papers at that point. Or <laughs> fucking backwoods. I don't even smoke backwoods like that. I'm on my Johnny Carson shit. Yeah. I smoke till I'm dead. <laughs> I feel you. I smoke joints. Supposedly his like last words. I think it's probably bullshit, but it was like. These fucking cigarettes. Because <laughs> he would smoke like three packs a day. God. Like that. Something insane. Yeah, I have a... My my supervisor, not going to say his name, but uh, he uh, he always has two packs. of Marble Reds, special, <laughs> special blend or special select every day for work. I'm like, bro, it's an eight-hour shift. <laughs> it's a, maybe at the most a 10-hour shift. You don't need to... Sm- How many cigarettes come in a pack? Uh, I don't know, Matt. How many cigs are in a pack? 20. So he's smoking 40 cigs for in 10 hours, I say that. I mean, Carson would smoke 60 in a day, so. God damn. Uh, dude. That's like, I, bro, what's what's the math of that? 40 cigs in 10 hours? Oh, I four have cigs in, Four cigs an hour. That's a cig every 15 minutes. I don't, I don't know. Probably that's not, something like that. No, that's yeah. the math, yeah, because if you do it 40 divided by 10, it's four cigs an hour. Divide it into an, uh, break it into a thing is every It's cig. fucking disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I hit vapes, a little pussy cigs. That's but, bad. I feel like those might be worse than cigarettes. Yeah, but mine, I don't smoke mine all the time. Like, I'm at, I don't work, when I'm at work, I don't hit this at all. Yeah. And in the mornings, I don't hit this at all. At night is when I hit it, or like at days when I'm off. One of these can last me like three weeks to a month. While the, you know, motherfuckers be buying, bro, R- Riz God be fucking buying a, bo- yeah. a box. A box. A box. It's like $300, and that shit only lasts him like a week and a half, two weeks. Because he'll smoke two or three at a time. They sell cartons of vapes. <laughs> yeah, bro, boxes yeah. of vapes. You just bought the whole box. I'm like, what the fuck? Going to Texas Tobacco and we're closing it. <laughs> he goes, I'm buying y'all out. I'm buying y'all out. He ain't ever going to listen to this, so fuck him. Yeah. Uh, fucking, uh, no, speaking of Carson, though, I heard like an insane YouTube video talking about when Johnny first came to New York, like in the 60s or whatever. Yeah. Fucking uh, Don Rickles. Oof. Like had to save him from being murdered by the mafia. Holy shit! What the fuck was he doing? 
So, like, apparently he went to... Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. Uh, He went to Copacabana. Do you know what that is? Uh, I know the name. It's very funny now. So, it's in uh, the Irishman. That's the club that they all go to. Yes, yes, yes. I don't remember if it was owned by the Gallows, but Crazy Joe Gallo frequented it almost, like, nightly. Yeah, that was the spot. Yeah. Crazy Joe Gallo was... uh, Fucking, uh, what's his name? Italian comedian. Okay. You know who I'm talking about? Fucking uh, big guy. Shit, I'm blanking on the name. I'm disrespecting my culture. Uh, uh, fuck. What year? What what decade? Current. Current decade. Italian? Sal? Yeah. Not Sal. No, not Sal from the Practical <laughs> Jokers. Uh, fuck. Big Italian. Starts with an M. Or last name's M. Damn. Fuck. D, 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 D. We gotta do our research. Hey, research team. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, some housekeeping. If you're interested in being a uh, producer on this show, and would like to submit a uh, fucking uh, shoes and questions, stories, and yeah, stories and shit, or uh, we are interested in like coming on and doing uh, audio or or not audio. Um, we got that covered, but like video and graphic design work. Send a DM. We would love to have see your work. We would love to see your work. Help us help you get your name out there. We're a startup. You're a startup. Let's do this. Let's work together. God, I'm, it's pissing crazy. me off. I cannot think of this fucking dude's name. Is he old? Fucking Tim yeah. Dillon does an impression of him. I can't remember. Is he, is he, oh, damn, I, it's pissing me off. Bro, so, I can't. Oh, for the top. Sebastian for the, Maniscalco. Sebastian. God damn. It. God damn it. Yes. Famous, famous. But so anyway, fucking Sebastian plays Crazy Joe Gallo in uh, fucking The Irishman. Yeah. Only seen half of he that. You couldn't movie. tell by his name. It's a crazy motherfucker. Yeah. But uh, it's very hard to like, it just makes Italians look fucking retarded. But uh, hey, you better you than me. <laughs> It's big in, uh, I guess, mafia culture. Uh, if you watch Sopranos, they talk about it. But fucking, uh, I guess the mobsters back in the day would have like their own, like they'd have their wife. Oh yeah. And then the they had mistress. their their gourmand or yeah, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, the girlfriend. Yeah. The girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. So, so apparently, like fucking Johnny's first time in New York goes to Copacabana. With uh, somebody or whatever walks in, there's like a mob meeting going on in the back. Holy shit! And uh, they just go in, go into the bar, and there's like some like pretty girl at the bar. <laughs> Fucking Johnny Carson just sticks his hand up her dress. Oh, straight! Just slaps her ass. I guess that's just how the dude telling the story is like eighty years old. So oh, that's how not- it was done back in the day. He's being, I guess, PG telling it. Yeah. But uh, she just f- starts fr- like frantically screaming. I mean, as she, yeah. yeah, yeah, as she should. <laughs> yes. Uh, fucking uh, and then, like, fucking whoever was at the bar like knew the guy that came in with Johnny it was like, you gotta get him the fuck out of here. Yeah. And, like, they, like, grabbed him and, like, ran him out as fast as possible. Mm-hmm. And then fucking uh, Joe came out. I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> She's yeah. like, some guy just came in here and grabbed my ass. And I guess, like, the whole night they were having people just wandering the streets of New York looking for Whoever Johnny did. Carson. No, they knew who did it. And they are like, we're going to kill Johnny Carson. And then I believe Frank Sinatra was like, listen. <laughs> good old guy, Frank. This guy's a pretty big deal. Yeah, he's like, a good boy. He's a good boy. I wouldn't say good old Frank. Yeah, I heard yeah. awful shit about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Frank Sinatra, yeah. But he had pool. He had I guess. Pool. I, I heard literally today I was listening to a podcast talk about this shit, and they talked about just awful stories about him and Marilyn Monroe. Oh, yeah. Awful. Hey, b- different time. Different time. <laughs> sure. Different time, bro. It was acceptable for men to do that back in the day. Not right now. No. God, no. But that's how it was. But anyways, I guess we'll go straight fit check since we haven't even done that yet. 
me go first? Sure. I am rocking the Merrill Hydro Mox. A little cozy shoe. A little mule. Kind of. It's basically a croc. Came out before the um, Yeezy Foam Runner. Yes, it did. Kind of, I feel like, steals. Or the Yeezy Foam Runner steals kind of design language from this. Yeah, the I holes. feel like more than regular Crocs. Yeah. Those Even though you can definitely see like the design of Crocs from yeah. the in this or whatever. But like the top part though where yeah. all the holes are at and stuff. It's completely But they got a couple they got like a insulated version of it that's like weather eyes that mm-hmm. you can wear. They're okay. Um and then like Reese Cooper, uh we talked about him a couple of weeks ago. Yes. He did a collab with Merrill, uh, One Trail, their like sports style uh, division or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he kind of made like a running shoe out of. He like took the elements of this. I think it's called a Hydro Runner, but it is the same like material. M- not material, but this like whole okay. design on the top. And then there's kind of like a neoprene sock kind of mm. situation. Okay. But. And then just white Hanes socks. Got a uh, fresh pair of North Face tech pants. Went and spent some money out yeah. at uh, North Park the other day. Yep. But re-upped on uh, a couple pairs of these on sale. I got two pairs of these and a pair of shorts for $80. For North Face, that's actually a yeah. really good steal. Yeah, three fucking pairs of... <laughs> Like clothing, yeah. You, you lucky you get one pair of clothing for that same price. That's good. Yeah, I guess I got some type of deal. I'm a member too, so I yeah. Can, shout out North Face for the steal. Whatever. Then uh, it's Father's Day, so I'm wearing a uh, dad tee. Oh yeah, it's like a polo. It's a weird polo because it's not like it doesn't have a horse anywhere on it, but it is Ralph on. Huh? No, that's the rough. That's the. It's like a sailing bullshit. It's the blue label. No, this is Ralph Lauren Polo. No, it doesn't say the Ralph Lauren Polo thing has the the, the blue label. Well, the, there's Ralph Lauren blue, Ralph Lauren purple, yeah. and Ralph Lauren black. I just normal. But Ralph those Lauren. are separate from Polo. Okay, so I just has the RL like the. Yeah, I think this RL. is like RL something, or uh, no, this is this is Polo, but it's just some type of. They don't have the horse on it. I don't know. Yeah, because sometimes they'll do like like different animals. Like I know yeah. for like the blue, they have like some type of fish. I I bought two. I bought this, and this has like down on the I don't know what part of the shirt this is, but down on the, the hem, I think. Yeah, hem. I guess. Uh, there's just an anchor that says polo. Yeah, that's the blue. That's the sailing one. But uh, <laughs> the other one, the other one I have is just a blue shirt, same kind of pocket tea thing but uh no horse except for right down the hem again it's a horse not a mm-hmm. anchor or whatever anchors like they're like summer thing I probably believe. yeah because i had a blue i had some shorts like that because it's the anchor and it says rl and the anchor sometimes like if it's the big yeah. print oh sorry my eyes are fucking itchy you good all right well i'm wearing a shoe that's four years old. I just noticed when I looked at it, but I'm wearing the Jordan One Lows, Travis Scott, and, straight up, and the OG Brown Lows, not the Reverse Mocha, but the Mochas. You know, got these when they came out. Shout out! I forgot how I got. Them. It wasn't sneakers. I think it was a uh, goat. I goat. think I got them off goat. Goat. Yeah, I'm wearing gold toe socks. Gold toe socks. Brain dead sweats and then i'm wearing it shout out this up and coming band enterprise earth it's a death metal band from uh fuck where are they from like out here no they're not from around no. here but i went to go see them in fort worth they opened yeah. up for uh shadow of intent oh, yeah. to my death metal fans if you know you know uh put you on two really good bands hispanic dudes or uh no enterprise earth is not hispanic dudes okay maybe i feel like the like death metal scenes right now kind of predominantly hispanic yeah at least uh, in like north texas yeah there's a lot of hispanic i've seen some like really good bands i know a few good bands uh but um this one was like maybe the lead singer could be hispanic but like he's like a really skinny 110 pound 5'8 guy 
but like screams into the fucking mic, crazy long hair. So Don't. they're all white. Some, yeah, I think they had a few uh, African Americans. No cool. Yeah, <laughs> for no reason, cool. But no, it was pretty cool watching it because this was actually we didn't even know this band was going to be there. We went to go see Inter- uh, Shadow of Intent. But then uh, this band was the band that opened right before them, and this was a really good band. Got videos on my phone about the band. And, yeah, I had to match it with the Brain Dead. I need to buy new, more Brain Dead sweats. They're very comfortable. Fire. Yeah. I but, fucks with Brain Dead. Yeah, I would just wish, you know. Shout the, out to, isn't it Deej? I think so. Yeah. I think it's, multi, two, like, two people, I feel yeah. like. But I think Deej is one. Uh-huh. Not sure. If you're not the owner of Brain Dead, sorry. Oh yeah, I like their uh, their cult films like thing they do on Instagram. Do a lot of like cult film shit. What do you mean? Like they post a lot of cult films and talk about the cult films, and they even have like a movie thing. You just mean like films that have like cult like following type? Thing yeah, like, like that type of stuff. Probably like old like fifties movies type a shit. A lot of yeah. it, yeah. And they do a lot of artwork too. Let me see if I can find because there's Brain Dead the the the, the brand. Yeah, and then the brain dead. I know they do multimedia because I'm pretty sure Deej, if he is with Brain Dead, is like also a rapper, and I don't think he's the sole creator, but he's like one of them. But he raps with like ASAP Nast and shit. Yeah, the brain. Yeah, here Brain Dead Studios. It's uh, actual, and they talk about what's the movies of this week, and they talk about different movies. Oh, they watching Spaceballs June 25th. Hell yeah. Fucking good. And then, like, here's like Sundays for big screen drama, Stardust, Memories, like old cult films, stuff like mm-hmm. that. <clears throat> it's pretty dope. But yeah, that's why I'm rocking. Nothing too crazy. Something cozy. Because your place gets cold. I was wearing Nike shorts, but I was like, man, it gets kind of cold here after a bit. <laughs> so I got to put on something to warm me up. But that's the fit check. Yep. I played this drop on accident earlier, but let's get into news or drops. Awesome. Not that many big drops coming out this week. I guess the first one we could see is the women's Nike Air Max Premium Japan Concert Japan uh, Air, uh, Air Max Premium Air Max One head to head. It's inspired by the University of Michigan colorways. It has a uh, Midnight navy leather on the upper, and then like the the mud guard and uh, all that is a pebbled leather to get it to look like almost like scales, I guess, with the, like a scale swoosh as well. Which one is this? the Code JP? Yeah, Code JP. Any Code JP Nike stuff is fucking fire. Yeah, it's like the swoosh is a reptilian print. It's yeah. a really good like if it's a any co jp stuff is usually going to be the like highest fucking quality like materials you can like, even, that leather's great all of it you can even tell by the shoe like by looking at it the leather on it is gonna is really good if you go to the university of michigan very nice shoe if you rock in this you even if you don't yeah even if you don't it's just a really nice shoe it's a women's shoe by the way so i don't know if they have a uh, size up yeah i don't know if it has a uh, extended sizes from the big foot Bigfoot motherfuckers. But it comes out June twenty first on uh for hundred sixty dollars. Coming out on Nike.com. Ko JP is their Japanese like kind of label within Nike too. Yeah, well apparently here's you don't know. Yeah, it says here is once was the URL for Nike's website for Japan. Yeah. But like uh I'll, they do ever so often a bunch of Ko JP shit. Mm-hmm. And like uh the the Jordan one, uh, Co JP is that silver one, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. that it came in the like briefcase. Yeah, or a homie might have that. They're all like pretty, like high quality stuff. Yeah. There's some great uh, Co JP shit that's like all fucking alligator, mm. like a black and brown like gator, like fucking. Uh, What's your silhouette? Air Force One. Nice. Okay. It's probably in that big sneakers book. I just don't want to have to go grab it. <laughs> All good. Next shoe I have is the New Balance 991 made in the UK Star White. Coming out in June 22nd for $260. There's a few great hits on the shoe with the, on the on the end. And as well as the half 
a little half later half of the midsole it's very cool high quality leather i mean not leather suede and has mesh panels and the t there's a little hint of tan on it i guess i call it the webbing of the shoe i don't know what it is the upper where it connects the mud guard to the where the shoelaces are at like right here yeah yeah, yeah i forgot what I don't know the name um, of that part of the shoe. I believe it's just like the upper, but um, I don't know. I think you would just call it like a leather. Uh, yeah. There's a wording for that piece, but I think that part is still just the upper. Okay. Yeah. Maybe an upper net. I don't know. Maybe. I just There's thought the mesh would be the net. I can't think of. Yeah. Just oh, whatever, whatever it is, you'll know which one it is when you look at it. And it's a miss for me, but... It's all white dad shoe, pretty much. I mean, kinda. I mean, I would like this shoe, but I just know the shoe would not. Eh, eh, just. I would like to see more made in the UK stuff kind of pop off from New Balance. I feel like the made in the US line is going pretty hard right now with Teddy doing that. Yeah, it'd be cool if they teamed up with. Uh, I don't really know a cool like creative out there that I would say works well like yeah. as an equivalent to teddy but yeah. i'm sure there is i believe so too there's someone i mean but we're not in the uk world like mm -hmm. that so i wouldn't know i mean anybody that i can think of that comes to mind i just don't really see it working the same way teddy does mm -hmm. like uh cortese would be cool skepta would be cool I don't see them. Oh. At, I don't really see them as like New Balance people. I feel like trainers. Yeah, that. Tra well, I mean, trainers just like that. T like type of shoe, like the yeah. like athleisure type of shit. But uh, I, I just feel like Nike, or as they say out there, Nike. Nike. Uh, Weird. Weird. Uh, it's like Mike. Yeah, but this is America. We created the brand. It's pronounced Nike. Like they want us to pronounce it Adidas. True. Oh, I was about to just say that. Yeah. Like, well, Adidas is pronounced Adidas. I also pronounce it from time to time Adidas. My uh, my mentor, she's from the UK, mm -hmm. and she'll pronounce it Adidas all the time. When we're talking about sneaker brands and all that. See, she, I feel like in the UK they call it Adidas. She called it, well, she called it Adidas. Yeah. That's what she called it. Because she, I guess because of uh, the sports thing, she tried to keep it. She always tried to pronounce things correctly. Well, it's named after Adi Dossler. Yeah, Adi Dossler, yeah. So, but yeah, next shoe I have is a Travis Scott uh, and John McEnroe reintroduced the Nike at Mac Attack. It was a shoe for John McEnroe for for uh, tennis. Yeah, back in 1984, I believe. Yeah, and if you haven't seen the shoe, haven't seen the commercial that came out of it. The commercial is kind of corny. It's literally not, Travis Scott and friends going to play pickleball. Travis hits the uh, ball, pickleball over the net. Hits John in the head, and John's like, "What the fuck?" And then Travis comes out like, "Hey, what's up?" And like, "Hey, what's up?" And they play tennis. <laughs> That's all they do. And uh, but it's an OG, it's OG colorway, OG shoe, uh, all gray. One of the, the first black. times it's been retroed, I believe. Mm -hmm. I think it's it is the first time it's been retroed. If I'm correct, yeah, and. All gray shoe and white with a little black on the, on the like the netting and the swoosh and then the Nike logo on the th on the uh, tongue is uh, checkered with like blue and gray or blue and black, mm -hmm. and it comes out June twenty third as well. Nike dot com and for one hundred twenty dollars, so it's not that bad of a price. But it's also going to come out like on Sneaker Politics and HBX. Uh, and if not, you don't get it, go and Flight Club will have it. I don't think it's going to resell. Crazy. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a resell shoe. I think it's going to be kind of like how the Delta Force is right now, mm -hmm. but maybe have more people interested in it. Yeah, I mean, uh, using Travis Scott's name will get people wanting it yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Travis ones actually have a release date. Those are coming out at the end of the year. The I golf ones? No, no, no. The there's the regular. Ma it's the same colorway as the one you're looking at now, but it has a backwards swoosh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And you haven't seen the 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 box looks it's like an old school. It's the original box. Yeah, it's a, they retroed the box. Yeah, they retroed the box too. It's a little bit bigger than the OG box, but I mean, who gives a shit? Who gives a fuck? And then the in the uh, what you call the the campaign for it? The pictures are pretty funny to me. Like, why are y'all wearing suits? No the Utopia yeah. briefcase. Like that is weird. He's hyping up that briefcase very heavily. Yeah, it's because it, that briefcase supposedly has Utopia in it. Oh, really? Yeah. Because he went to... I don't know if that campaign was done in uh, the UK, but uh, he was just recently out in London and went to Abbey Road. I believe yeah, in the I saw Mac that. Attacks. Yeah. And... Uh, Walked the, the, the signature... The famous blue, the Beatles. Uh, yeah, the Abbey Road. Yeah. Thing. But I will say out of all the campaign posters they have, I like the one with John Macaron only when he's serving the ball. I, yeah. I just, that's just to me, just Breeze classic. And then the Travis one just looks dope just because I like the shades. Looks okay. Yeah, I like the shades. I just fucks with the shades. Makes them look space-like. Oh, and then shoot we talked about last week is going to have a global release, the Mediterranean Sea uh, Studio FY7 New Balance 576. Yes. They they released last week, I believe. I think. I don't know. I, like a, th- a limit I, release. Maybe. I think we did talk about this release, but mm-hmm. I'm not entirely sure. I've slept since last week. Yeah. It's, it comes out June 23rd, global release on Studio FY7 exclusively on there so good luck i know everybody's gonna try to get that good shoe luck. it's so beautiful of a shoe i'm not gonna it's all black suede with may the allah blue, bless you like a like a light blue may like a i don't even know coastal blue i guess yeah that's what it is um New let's Bell. call it a mediterranean blue mediterranean blue and it's based on yeah the mediterranean waters that's it's just a, honestly the colorway is just it's a good shoe perfect I, he doesn't really miss yeah, and then something we haven't talked about that Sneaker World should know is the Mosh announces the Mosh Runner V2 in the what the colorway. Yes. I guess it's the best of, of all of his colorways he does. It's it's uh, blends and limits from his t- catalog of 27 iterations. So it's, I guess all 27 shoes has a little inspiration to this shoe mm-hmm. that he's made of the V2. I don't dislike this model. I like the model, but I don't like the, the colorway. Color, yeah, it's really hard for me to like a what the colorway. Mm-hmm. Like I used to like them a lot. Like I fucking went in last time I went in. Like woke up very early to get a shoe. Was me and uh, the homie Jay Hen. Okay. Like the week after uh, I graduated high school, fucking my parent. Like literally, like a couple days after I graduated high school. My parents were like, hey, it'd probably be a good idea for us to send your sisters to, like, a camp or whatever. Yeah. And we're just going to go on vacation by ourselves to Italy. So you'll just have this house to yourself for a week and a half after you graduate high school. Oh, yeah. So if you could imagine, I threw a mini parties. Yeah. But uh, one night, we didn't have a party because me and Jay Hen... It was Kixbo. Damn, threw it back. You remember Kixbo? Yeah. Did you ever go? No, I never went to Kixbo. Crazy. But uh, it was Kixbo and the What the KD fours? fours? I think it's the four. It was the first What the KD. It was when that first came back as a thing. Because if you don't know what the What the thing is, the What the Dunks was came out i don't even remember uh a while ago a while ago yeah. it was little pieces of all of the like most memorable nike sb dunks i think from the pink box era i might be mm-hmm. wrong and a lot of the other collaborators also have done their own versions of what the dunks or what the shoe like well so for the Paul well, Rodriguez. uh for the longest it was only the what the dunk yeah and then Very long. uh no okay yeah i guess so the what the kd4 like came out around the same when did this drop 
Someone had those in high school. Yeah, they were easy to get. Yeah, I forgot who had these. It wasn't the four that I actually lined up for. It was uh, the five, I think. But uh, what, whenever the What the KD came out, they also did a What the Kobe and a What the LeBron. Yeah. And that was like 2013 or 2014. And that's when they first brought back uh, this fucking style. The what the the what the and then they've they beat it to fucking death. Yeah, because then the door pickers did a what the. Yeah, yeah, every, oh, those sick like, ass kids. <laughs> the cancer's kids. What the KD six is what the. Oh, what he was the, waiting for. Yeah, which isn't even a good shoe, but uh, to bring back actually, I mean I don't hate I wouldn't really wear them that much now, but I don't hate it. Uh, it's very colorful. The uh, sixes too. Yeah, I have it right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember those. But so we fucking woke up at six a.m. Jesus. To drive to Dallas to go to. Where was it? Shit! Now I can't even think of the fucking place. It's not called it anymore. The it changed names, but. It's, uh, they have one on Web Chapel. They have a bunch of them in Dallas. What's it called? It's kind of a hood sneakers, uh, store. Tease? No. <laughs> I'm smart enough to not go to Big Tease to look for fucking... Why not, bro? <laughs> kicks, because I'm not trying to look like Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> yeah. Um. Alpha Canal. DTLR. It's now DTLR. called it's now DTLR, which is a chain. Yeah. Uh, but it used to be called something else. And all the, I forget what they were, but they all got bought and turned into DTLRs and shit. But uh, fuck, dude. We show up at like eight and they're opening at nine to do this release. It's Kixpo in Dallas. So like all like others, there is like. Somewhat of a line, but there's like four people in front of us. Yeah. So we're like, dude, we're getting these fucking shit. No problem. So like, fuck yeah. Also, what... So I was trying to get those. Uh, the Chigar... Eh, Chigar. Cigar and Champagne Pack. Yeah. Uh, dropped that same day as well. Um, pack. Great pack. Those are sevens, right? Or sixes? Sevens. Because I know they did a similar one with the six. Yeah, sevens. Yeah, sevens. Then they came out with the sixes. Mm -hmm. Not as good. Fire. Oh, wait, no. I'm stupid. It is the six. It is? I'm pretty sure. It could be, yeah. You could be 100% right. Cigar and champagne packs? I don't know. No, it was the seven. I think. We're about to find out. No, it was the six. Yeah, it was the six because it came with that fucking ring. Yeah, 2014. Okay. I have misspoken. The cigar, I think, is what Jordan was... Or no, he was trying to get the champagne. Mm -hmm. it is fucking Instagram champagne Henry or whatever. Yeah. Fucking, uh, so like we're waiting in line. It hits like 8.45. They're opening at 9. A white fucking Suburban pulls up. These two kind of fat Mexican dudes and just fucking flat bill, like Dallas Cowboys swag and like oh, flat bills and shit hop out. One has a dolly. They go into the store and then they walk out. Three times with fully stacked dollies that are double stacked with shoes. Oh, my God. Put them into the Denali and then drive off. We are, like, sixth in line. We finally get in to get the stuff, and they're like, yeah, we're sold out of the cigar, champagnes, and the KDs and 10 through 12. Oh, my God. Dude, I was so fucking... I've never gone and lined up for shoes since. Like I've been pit like it's pissed me off so much. It's the worst. It's the fucking worst. 
But yeah, June twenty third, two ninety for the Mosh. What the? Uh, if you, how much? Two ninety. Yeah. Pre order because he still has to make them. So it's a custom shoe that he yeah, makes. Yeah, like if you fuck with, if you know who Mosh is, he makes really good shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he, you know, it's the one time you could buy a custom and not get like clowned. Yeah, because it's a Mosh, and you know, the, oh Mosh bet. It's more like buying like a wearable like kind of art print type thing yeah and you know real real sneakerhead street where people know who mosh is they'll be like oh those are the moshes okay okay if anybody said what are those they don't they don't yeah i'm not like a fan of like customizing sneakers really but like i would rock these in a different colorway i th- i think because i could honestly rock them in this color i don't mind the colorway it's just a little too much i i think it's the difference between sneaker customization is because of the fact that he created the yeah yeah it's, it's his own model yeah, so that's what makes it to me like more acceptable because of its, its own model. I want a Jordan One, but with Python on it. <laughs> it's not something like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or yeah, or with the reverse swoosh. Can you do the red Octobers, but instead of red, make them blue? Blue with uh, alligator scales on it. We're gonna call them the Blue Decembers, <laughs> which is a thing. Look it up. Last shoe I have is the elephant print. Of the Jordan One Low OG in the black cement, she was pretty much covered in elephant print. Besides, like the toe, ca- the toe, where like the shoe breathes, and then the mid sole, mid side, the mid panel, is all like a black durbuck. I don't even call it numbu- uh, suede mm-hmm. or numbuck. Durbuck is that Jordan? Yeah, is that fake numbuck that like you know? Yeah, that's a no for me. That one. Yeah, it comes out June twenty fourth for one hundred forty bucks. I mean. I don't like all I don't like elephant print that much at all. So like that is just ugly as fuck to me. Yeah, the only that's t- something that like to me it's like if you buy that you don't really know about sneakers. You're just like oh Jordan ones are cool. Yeah, and I mean I these are street. Yeah, I would not like he said like you said too much elephant print. The Jordan three is the reason why I like them with the elephant prints because it's a little bit of elephant print. It's not like, you know, like this one, the entire fucking shoe. Even the shoe box. Yeah. That, that for print. That's crazy. Yeah, no. It's enough for me. So. The only people that can kind of get away with that Kids. would be like, no, Supreme. And I wouldn't even, I wouldn't like them, but it would make sense. I Like, it makes sense because it's just fucking Jordan doing it. Yeah. Which is kind of fucking, ta- I don't know, it just doesn't look that great. But Supreme actually has that history of doing the like uh like elephant print type shit yeah if you look at their first like dunks i wouldn't mind it if it was like a supreme collab but uh-huh. i still wouldn't wear it but just as it is that's just one of a, a plethora of trash ass yeah inline jordan line. go ahead and put it in the garbage because it is not it would we'll not wear this shit not for me but that's all I have for uh, upcoming sneaker releases. But I st- got some other drops that I've known that are coming out. Share them. Soon, very soon. The first drop that I got on my thing is the Nike Claw Dunk Low Cork. In the, if in, in actual cork. I, uh, not a, I don't know about cork, um... It looks cool, but as a guy who like clean sneakers and all that, it's just like yeah, I, don't I think you know. would be kind of fucked. It, like, as soon as it gets up. stained, it's it's done. Like, but I mean, like Cork Lebrons were massive. Yeah. Um, my only thing I've ever heard about any of the Nike Cork shoes is not like that they're like hard to clean because I believe they're I believe Cork is actually somewhat easy to clean. Uh. You just won't be able to wear your shoes like day of because you're going to get them drenched because cork is wood. Yeah. So it's just going absor- to everything. It's absorb everything. Yeah. But like you can use that to clean it by just going with a brush and it's going to soak in the water and you just kind of scrub off the muck or whatever. I think this shoe will look good once it's weathered from the patina of the shoe. The shoe. It actually kind of come with interchangeable fuzzy uh, swooshes Yeah. as well. So you can change the swooshes and stuff. Like they, it looks like it has like a red, uh, snake skin, uh, white 
maroon, burgundy, uh, uh, turquoise, Tiffany blue. And I don't know, is that like a gold maybe right there? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so it comes out for $150 on June 23rd on uh, Jump's Juice Store. Never heard of that juice store. Is it a collab with them or something? Yeah, Court okay. Claw, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a big cork fan. And then, uh, like I said, I've heard they just rip really easy, the cork material. Mm-hmm. Which makes sense because of the fact that it's cork and cork is very brittle. Especially when, it, yeah. especially because it's cork, half the time it's going to dry out. Yeah. You're going to have to like put that shit like in a humidifier or something. And like that's not going to last that long. I can already see just an awful fucking, like, if those were, like, more viral, I guess. Yeah. Like a TikTok of people, putting, like, sticking things on them. Yeah, I can see that. I can see people, I guess, doing it with, like, the LeBrons or something. Mm-hmm. Those were retro. Yeah. So, the next thing that's coming out is actually, I guess it looks like a... I don't know if this is real, but apparently... There's a restaurant having a shoe with a uh with New Balance. It's called the 990 990 V3 Gaudy. Let me see it. There you go. Okay. I like it. It yeah, gives me like a, like the the toe guard over here and the heel get tap or heel guard area gives me like a church window vibe. Yeah. And the suede looks good. I ah, wax leather laces though. I'm, yeah, that, that's not great. Um, yeah. I wonder if it's like for kitchen wear. Yeah, because it's twenty four Kaladi. It's for uh, when I saw you scrolling for it to look for it, I was like, why is he just looking at food? Yeah, no, <laughs> my bad. Uh, but uh, no, fucking, I I can't remember where uh, I read it. But I did read some, like, article that one of the, like, next trends, one of those bullshit-ass British GQs or whatever the fuck. Hey, bro, we got to be wearing crop tops. Um, One of the trends was uh, restaurant-related gear. Mm. Like, I saw, like, Maddie Matheson just started, Mm. like, a uh, clothing line, which I actually, have you seen his shit? Pretty good. I would get it's all just basics, but it's like basics. I guess you could wear in the kitchen. Yeah, and uh, they all look good. Good pants, good just like basic tees, like solid color tees. I don't know where he's getting the materials, but apparently the, the, this restaurant Twenty Four Calates has been uh, collaborating with a bunch of different companies. Diadora. Yeah. And they had a sneaker recently. Uh, what do the Diodoras? V7000. This is the shoe box. He's about to open it right now. Ooh. Oh, okay, I like those. I like those. Those actually fire. Yeah, I love Diodora. Diodora makes some nice shit. Yeah, that's actually really good. Is that like horse hair? Yeah, there's very, there's only a okay. handful of, uh, I think, Diodora, like actual like retailers in the U.S. I believe Packers is like a big one. Yeah, uh, Packers usually has fire Diodora collabs. So, if you're looking for some Diodora Packers shoes, then they even made a uh, Asics, a Diodora nine N nine thousand Italian oh, okay. brand. Those look luxurious as fuck. Yeah. I like that. I like that. The velvet. I just. I'm a big fan of velvet. That's just me. Apparently, 24 Kalatis is a restaurant in Bangkok. In okay, Thailand. I was about to ask where. No, no, no. It's a boutique. It's a sneaker boutique. Huh. Yeah, it says here. Yeah, I just clicked on the, like, finally What was the page with all the food? I think they just tagged the wrong person. Huh. Yeah, so. So it's not a restaurant? No, okay. they just tagged the wrong <laughs> okay. people. I had to go. I had to do a deep okay. I had to go to the official photographer click on yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, then, funny as shit. and then click on, like, where it says 24 Kalatis. The hashtag, clicked on that, and then that's where I found the shoes, and then I just clicked on the, okay. the Adora, and then they had tagged the actual sneaker store. They had, it's an actual sneaker store in Thailand. That's pretty dope. Nice, nice. <laughs> but uh, that's one shoe. It doesn't say anything when they come out or anything. I think it might be a custom. 
Who knows? I don't know that much. There's nothing really out there. But another shoe I have that what, finally has don't something. Don't speak Thai? No, I don't think Tagalong. Boy, that's Filipino. Tagalong. No, I think it's just Thai. Thai. I don't speak squiggly lines. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, I don't speak squiggly lines. But they finally got a more information on is the Travis Scott Jordan 1 low in the golf, in the golf shoe. So, it comes out this holiday. You think Travis is a golfer? Uh, My money's uh, on no. No, he's just doing it just because he has money. You know how uh, people wants to get money, have time, they'll go golfing. Well, I feel I like it's say, literally kind of like a trend right now. Yeah, I, I mean, golfing is fun, though. When I've been... You know, I'm you, very jaded. I used to work at a golf course. So uh, I never, yeah, I've I, dealt with very shitty people. I bet golf golf people at the golf course are probably ass. But when I go, we go rent up rent up a a little what's it called? Golf cart. Golf cart. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> rent out a golf cart, and then we have some beers and shit. And we just drink and play. You know. I mean that aspect of it is fun. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't. They would play for money, the homies. Yeah. I wouldn't. I'm, like, I'm not playing for money, bro. They've been playing like for $500 a hole. Yeah. Oh, uh, speaking of golf shit, though, um, Macklemore's golf collection with Adidas dropped. Okay. You know, he has he has his own, like, golf. Collection. No, I did not know that Macklemore had his own golf. Yeah. It's pretty nice shit. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Yeah. Like, I'm not really a Macklemore fan, but. I will say on the golf shoes here, they updated the sole is made for you know golf, so you're not going to be able to wear it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's it's going to be like a hard plastic. Yeah, it looks like a hard so plastic. Like if you were like, dude, I think I could wear these. You're going to sound look, like a jackass. You're going to sound stupid. like Savion Glover just walking <laughs> into the club. Click 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 click. click. That's all you're going to hear. That's all you're going to hear. And oh, apparently there is a release of the uh, Jordan. Jordan one next Spider Man shoe the uh the pocket one the pocket one that was like shown in the show on movie mm-hmm. supposedly it comes out um it's limited to a hundred pairs so there's not that many like you know oh hey Matt do you have a Spider Man review uh, yeah, good. <laughs> all right it was good there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. He fell asleep through parts. That is the review. Yeah, great ass review. It's a friends and family. Oh, so it's not even gonna release. It's a friends and family shoe. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why it was limited to a hundred pairs because it's for Sony and jo- and Jordan brand. I mean, the shoelaces look cool. It comes in three different. I wish I was more familiar with like the Sony hacks to make jokes. Yeah. Do you know about those? The Sony hacks? Yeah. No. Like, uh, fucking North Korea hacked Sony because they made that fucking movie about, uh, the dictator or whatever. Oh, or the, the interview? The interview, yeah. Okay. And, uh, yeah, North Korea hacked fucking Sony, but apparently there's, like, uh, all these leaks of fucking Amy Pascal, the lady in charge of Sony Spider-Man stuff, and her just being a fucking monster to people. Holy shit. Am I surprised? No. Most people with money, p- power like that are dicks. So I'm not surprised at all. Let me see what else I got on my thing. Oh, we can get into it if you want about KD wearing flu- uh, Fugazis. KD or? or Kendrick Lamar. That's K- what I'm K Dot. That's what I'm K-Dot. Say. K Dot was wearing, wearing Fugazis. 12s. He posted it on, apparently on his burner account. He posted these. Yeah. And I am the king of fashion. Yeah. <laughs> he like so you can hear the guy, it's like some a uh, guy of Asian descent, uh Liz uh talking to him and t- hyping him up to buy the shoes and then Kendrick's oh, hyping him he's up. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, he's like, Oh, you go through the metal holes, it's good metal, good metal. And straight up you can instantly tell these are fake. One, the Jumpman logo, it looks like the new ba- the NBA logo. For one, <laughs> no. two, the fucking the fucking leather on it is plastic as fuck. Looks like Jordan in his ankles broke. Yeah, this shoe looks like it's fucking like smells. It looks like plastic. It doesn't look like leather. Yeah, and then he's wearing them out on the streets in New York, like I'm, I'm fashion. Like, uh, no, Kendrick, he has the real ones behind him. That's the funny part. 
He's Kendrick's like, never had good shoes. Like, yeah. Well, there's also him wearing Adidas Sambas recently too, in his uh. That's why, like, when I I don't remember if we like talked about it on the Patreon last week, but uh, that Surf Gang fucking song him and Keem did, Hillbillies. Yeah, fucking. Just like doesn't he start it off with them being like, "I'm the best dressed rapper alive." Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like the, the next week trolling. he's buying fake Jordans on purpose. This is cool. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Like. Like he's like you don't. Know, corny. Uh, it's corny as. It's fuck. just like you've never been known as like the Fitz guy. You've always been known as the guy that is the best rapper. Yeah. Just stay that. Yeah. Like you don't need to like dress. He doesn't even dress like fancy or designer. He wears like fucking basic clothes like the normal everyday man would wear. Well, I mean, like if you look at his history of his collabs. Like he made the Cortez. Uh, none of them are like really great. Yeah, they were Nike Cortezes. The, the like he started with Reebok. Nothing on that. I mean, Travis started with Reebok. Yeah, yeah it's going for him. Yeah. Okay, Reeboks, but it was like almost all of them were this like weird like this is the Bloods versus the Crips. Yeah, just like okay, but Compton. I don't really want that on my shoe. Yeah, I don't. I want don't want to be like. Set tripping when I'm just trying to wear my Reebok. Yeah, Erdogan. I'm just, I'm just an I'm fuck. a I'm a basic guy. I'm a normal guy, not gang. Then he went to uh, Kung Fu Kinney's with the uh, yeah. New Balance uh, Cortez the Nike Cortez Kinney Five, which was a slip on Cortez. Yeah, which like I don't hate it, but like it's just not that cool. Yeah, they're just you know sh- basic shoes, pretty much. This is the Kung Fu Kinney's, the Kinney Two. Mm-hmm. Which the rare ones? There's in this. What's it say in Old English right there? Or, unless well, Japanese. that's that's Chinese, man. I can't see that's from old here. <laughs> I cannot see. From I don't old. know uh, how old uh, English goes. But <laughs> I don't think English ever looked like that. <laughs> it does my time. That's fucking funny. Then uh, I guess his last Nike shoe was the uh, Nike Element Fifty Five. Yeah. Came out 2019. It's just a. I mean, that sh- the Nike element just sucked as a shoe. But, uh. Yeah, it just looks, I guess, like marble mm-hmm. or like smoky. It's not great. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. I guess I could do a few more just quick run bys since we're. We got three minutes. Yeah, we'll take the three minutes. Uh, the first one is a Fortnite Nike Air Max Air 4 event on June 20th. Uh, I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of skins coming out with Air Maxes, and maybe even uh, Air Max coming out that for the sh- for the event. <laughs> so if you still play Fortnite, and, and if you're a fucking loser, <laughs> I didn't want to say anything because I didn't fucking know. guy that gets no pussy. I didn't know who all plays Fortnite. You're still twelve. <laughs> But yeah, if you still play Fortnite and you're still building and spamming them and then, you know, getting them kills and getting pissed off about Fortnite. What are you asking me? Oh, yeah. Burr. Get a nice cold one. Uh they they had an event. I mean, I know the kids are gonna be hyped about it. Speaking of being hyped, when I was at the store I was store this weekend, I went to T J Maxx, fucking packed. Like the line was all the way to the very back. Yeah. To pay, yeah. and uh, a little white kid came up to me wearing Crocs, and he's like, "Hey, he's probably like eight or nine. I'm like, "Hey, what's up?" He goes, "I really like your shoes, man." And I was wearing these, the Travis Scott Jordan. I'm like, "Oh man, appreciate it." Oh, yeah. And then my girl was with me. She was like, oh, "Here you go." Cause she knows how I am when people hide over like in compliments. She was like, ha. "I started walking around with the pep in my step. Like, yeah, yeah. All I need is one person. All I need is one person when I wear a shoe. Be like, oh, bro, these are fire. I'm like, yeah, you know what these are." Never seen them in your life, a youngin, and not showing them on your feet. You'll never own these. Yeah, you'll never own these. <laughs> oh, for damn, that's You're crazy. a fucking child. Yeah, you don't have money. Yeah, I got money. You see these on my feet. Yeah, you see these on my feet. You see them. You see me. You see me. See you. See me. Seeing you. Seeing me. But other than that, there's the quick another one. The ALD New Balance six fifty V uh six fifty R. Uh, comes out in June 23rd as well. It's the high top 
basketball shoe they had. Uh, let me see if I have a, I think I had a picture of these somewhere. If I can find them. I don't know what it is. No. I don't know where I left them. Well, they're coming out June 23rd. Let me see. There they are. They come in three colorways in green, uh, sky blue, and black. Okay. Yeah. I don't really like yeah, it. Yeah, it's all white shoe with the gum bottom and then the accents on the heel and then the outline of the end is like the color of that green, blue, or black. But my, I like the blue one for the fact that I have the low top kind of one that looks like it, the GR mm-hmm. version of it that's a low top. So I'll see how it, how it looks on me. Uh, if I, I'm gonna try to get them on June 23rd, my pro move on 550s would be to buy now and just hold them. For real, keep them away. Don't really wear them because I feel like they're just kind of getting played out. Mm-hmm. And I do feel like they're like oversaturating the market a bit. Yeah, them. they are. I think it will go away for a little bit. Yeah. I hey, only owned one pair of five fifties. Shout out to my girl to buying them for my birthday. I haven't worn them that much, just for the fact that any day I want to wear them, it's been fucking flooding outside. Yeah. Fucking on the Thursday we had that badass storm. Yeah. That knocked down power for a little bit. And was it bad over here? No, not at all. For real? Yeah, no. It was, was bad in Sherman. When you text me, like I knew it was bad because like I had talked to my parents, but like. Nothing was going on over here. Oh, it was bad over there. It was fucking insane driving through uh, last week East Texas. No, today for real. Like shit was fucked up. Like out in commerce, like area. Like driving around because of the storm. Yeah, yeah, probably. There's a right by uh off of uh there's a Juneteenth celebration yesterday back home, mm-hmm. and right next to it, there's a telephone pole that's literally hanging out like yeah. like. Off the street like this, still connected to power, not falling. I'm like, holy shit, this isn't a fucking uh, something. Dude, do you... I think I talked about it on the Patreon. I'll give y'all a little preview of, I guess, bullshit we yeah. were talking about. Do you remember me telling about in Sulphur Springs, there was that, like, black guy that, like, sits outside the Shell gas station. Yeah, with, with the, the Trump stuff. Trump stuff. Yeah. But he had, like... It was, like, sisters against... Or sisters for conservatism. Yeah, whatever yeah. Whatever the fuck. And uh, he's still out there, but he's no longer selling Trump stuff. He's got a just fucking, like, U-Haul van. No. And he's selling just ribeyes out of the back. And, like, meats and stuff. Holy shit. It looks so sketchy. Oh, yeah, he stole them. He's selling, like, three steaks for $35. Damn. I was just like, fuck, man. I don't know. I don't know. If I trust this U-Haul outside of the shell in Sulphur Spring. Especially how long it's been there. It's not refrigerated. Yeah, yeah it's shit hot. When I was like, oh, see. I guess uh, the, you know, you got to mix your markets and stuff. Some <laughs> days you got to sell the Trump merch. Some days you got to sell meat. Omaha ribeyes or whatever. <laughs> That's funny. The last shoe I got, well, I had two more, but I just talked about one, is the Nike Dunk Low Japan Concept. Snake skin uh, coming out June 21st. I'll pull it up on my iPad so it'll be a little bit bigger. I just had to like find the page. But it's like a brown, the uh, mid, mid part of the shoe has a snake skin on it. Like we said before, if it's a, a Japan concept shoe, it's going to be high quality uh, material on it. Let me see, sneaker news. Is it a Nike Co Japan? Nike Dunk Low Co JP, yes. Okay. Uh, let me if it fucking loads. So for some reason, my out of nowhere, my shit started going bad. I'll let you look at it on my phone real quick. Okay. So you can have a look at it. Those are okay. Yeah. It's not nothing crazy, but it, like I said, not, I'm sure it's very nice materials. Yeah, it looks like it even looks like you can like it has a patina on it. That's the cool part. If I worship like the devil, I'd probably wear that. What the fuck? It looks like very nice snakes. Was the oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Anytime use- I see like snakeskin just with leather, it just reminds me of like being in like San Antonio and seeing like dudes with like pentagrams on their fucking cowboy hats, but with like rattlesnakes and shit. Oh, the Santeria shit. I, I don't know. I see that shit all the time in San Antonio. I don't. Oh, no, San Antonio has a big witchcraft with the Latinos. 
These are white people, though, so I don't know. Oh. I don't know. I mean, it could be. I thought it was with the Latinos, but. Because I know they, uh, there's a lot of uh, witchcraft happened out there. Really? Yeah. Like some Harry Potter shit? Well, I think the story. I don't know. <laughs> no, I think a little bit harder than Harry yeah. Potter, bro. Something like devilish witchcraft shit. Oh, they're not going to Hogwarts? No. And, oh, I guess one more shit we can talk about is the New Balance Action Bronson Lapis, oh, Lapis Lazuli. Lazuli. 990 V6 coming out very soon. Good luck. That's all I'm going to say. Good fucking luck. Yeah, everybody and their mama's going to try for this shoe. Um, I'm for sure trying. I worked a heavy check this week just so I can have money just in case for this shoe. I really want this shoe. really want it. So... I'd have money if I wasn't getting fucked over by Kenzo. What's, what's going on with Kenzo? Well, if you want to hear that, for $1, you can go <laughs> oh, subscribe nice. to Patreon.com. Nice. I like it. Uh, Listen, a lot of podcasts out here fucking struggle to give you fucking 30 minutes. We're consistently going over an hour. Oh, for real? Yeah, we're at an hour five. Holy shit. We gave you an hour ten for no fucking reason. Last time, yeah. So guess what, guys? Oh, you go fuck yourself in your fat fucking ass.